Hey guys, it's Josh from 10 Today I'm just going to give you guys a very simple video. This video is how to clean your playmat. What we're going to do is we're going to turn this playmat from this to this. So, this is a dirty playmat. This is your clean playmat. If I take them, start them apart like this, you can clearly tell that one is a lot cleaner than the other. And I'm going to show you guys how you can get this clean. Now these playmats are made specifically by Inked Gaming. Uh, they are a custom playmat manufacturer. You get send them an image, they'll put it on a playmat for you. This is just a simple black and white playmat. So it's it doesn't necessarily get too dirty this is over months of time of just ignoring it and not cleaning it just for the purpose of, of making this video I went and did that for you guys and we're not going to clean this planet because it's already clean in fact actually it's brand new so it still sm it still has that fishy smell uh, by the way if you guys do get a new planet and it smells really bad like fresh rubber kind of bad just unroll it stick it in your closet somewhere and that smell will go away after probably about the next 12 or so hours but there are a few things you need to know before you clean a playmat using this method that i'm about to tell you what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the playmat and just load it in the same washing machine i run my laundry in And there's a few things you guys need to know ahead of time. First of all, not all playmats are going to be machine washable. If they're not machine washable, you have to hand wash. Which I have a sink right here for. Just for this. So you don't need to worry about that. But, we're going to clean this playmat using regular laundry detergent. And, and no matter what, the regular laundry detergent, returg, uh, regular laundry detergent, will work just fine for this. So, before you uh, load your playmat up into the washing machine, we're going to protect it because when your washing machine will eventually go on to what's called a spin cycle, which I know that some some models you can actually disable, but I'm not going to care about that. There is a simple way to do that, and that's just take your playmat, put it in a pillowcase. Make sure that your pillowcase is about the same size as your playmat. Like, this one is obviously a little bit bigger, but it'll work just fine. All you guys really have to do is just take your playmat, and you want to make sure it's not rolled up or folded up at all. And what you're going to do is you're just going to lay it flat inside your uh, pillowcase, kind of like this. Really what I like to do is just take it, drive it up in there, and kind of just work it around so it's laying flat. Then you can just take it and put it in there. And it's laying nice and flat in here. Well, actually, I tucked it in a little bit too far. So, we'll back out just a little bit. But either way, now it's protected by the pillowcase. This is actually the same method that you would use for washing anything like book bags or anything like that. You just stick them in a pillowcase. And then you can just actually just take it. Drop in your normal wash, just like that. And just take your laundry detergent, fill out, fill your cap, fill it, uh, put the correct amount up in there, and you'll be fine. Now, if you're hand washing your playmat, I pull it back out here. Now, if you're hand washing your playmat, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your playmat, 
a rag, and a little bit of laundry detergent. All you do is just put it up onto the play mat. You want to soak it down and you want to scrub it just like that. Obviously, you're going to want to take something like a rag and you're just going to scrub it out. And you can already see where it's got that little bit of blue. Uh, that's, this is actually just soap right now. But if we take water for it and run it over it, it'll turn white. That's how you hand wash a play mat. And some play mats, you have to do that. Uh, I'll, have a, I'll have a link to, to the manufacturers that I personally know in the description below this video. But for now, what we're going to do, take the play mat, stick it in here, and run it. Now, before you actually turn the machine on, you want to make sure that your water is not going to run hot or even warm. You want it on cold. Cold all the way through. So on the machine, all I have to do is just turn my knob to the left. Make sure my fill size is set out correctly, which I'm running this with the rest of my the rest of my weekly laundry, so I'm just going to run it on full, and you can do that. And then I always run them on a heavy wash cycle. So I have this super wash cycle here, and I'm going to set it to that, and let, let it run. Okay, our play mat just finished run, running through the wash. It's a little wet, but you can already tell it's a little bit cleaner. In fact, uh, much cleaner. So, after you get running through the wash, well, how do you dry it? Well, for one thing, don't put it in the dryer. That's bad. Put it in the dryer, you'll warp it. So what I've got is just a simple hanger. Uh, specifically, this hanger that I'm using has uh, these clips on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hang it on these clips. And just hang dry it. Just put it right there. It'll sit there. Probably leave it there for about. I don't know. I normally just run them, hang them for a week, and that's about it. Just hang dry it. Because if you run it through the washer, what the washer is going to do is it's going to heat up this rubber backing on it. And that'll actually cause it to uh, wrinkle up, and it'll stay wrinkled up, where if you just air dry it instead, it's just hanging under its own weight, and it just stays nice and smooth. Now, if you don't have a hanger that has these clips on it, you can just make sure you have one with a nice wide bar on it. Uh, preferably not something short like this guy, where... You can tell it's definitely not the same width as a play mat. You want something nice and long. Or you can even just take like a a bar like what these have on. They're awfully crowded right now with just all the other clothes that I wash. I'm living, I'm living with a, a family of about seven or so. So I'm just going to sit here. Hang this. It'll dry over the course of the next day or so. And it'll be just good as new. Of course, if you leave your playmat dirty long enough, you won't be able to get all the dirt up the first time you wash it. It might take a few cycles, but that's fine. And that is how you clean a playmat.